No I'm, one really knows where the audience is at, okay? Exactly. I'm, a, I, I'm a big sports fan, but if you think that my team just lost and you're gonna target me on the number one sports site in Israel, for example, and I'm gonna buy your product right now, no. But if you know that I'm a big sports fan and I'm your audience, I'm also reading the news afterwards, okay? I'm reading gossip, I can read wherever you are. Try and use targeting tools, try to use optimization. It's good to have assumptions, okay? You can create the final and you have to use creatives which are suited for your specific audience type. But the fact that I like football doesn't mean that I'm not gonna read news about politics afterwards. It doesn't mean I'm not gonna read I don't know, National Geographic. It could be everywhere. Your audience is not always where you think they are. It's not like Facebook where you have a profile and they know everything about you. With native, it's a bit different. It's based on interest. Uh, and you don't go into ourbrain.com or Tabula and just say, I like sports, I like the news, I like nature, I like fashion. We have an algorithm which is always learning, always evolving, and we try to make smart assumptions on where your audience is also going to be. Uh, the big advantage is also that you're, using by, you're paying us by CPC. Okay, you're not spending money on impressions. If no one clicks, you're not paying for it. Let the algorithm, once you understand within those platforms how to target your users, how to do it smartly, then you can start talking to your account managers and ask them to maybe narrow down the list or maybe try a different type of, of uh, traffic source. But trying to cherry pick those specific users is just like saying, listen, my final is only gonna work on desktop, it's not gonna work on mobile. I don't know anyone that's not using an iPhone or an Android right now not trying to create something specific for them as well, just not playing it smart.